Hello everyone, I want to play a game. What's up y'all, you know what it is, it's your boy Odie, back at it with another review. This time I'm reviewing one of my most anticipated movies of this year, Spiral from the Book of Saw. This movie marks the second attempt to try to revitalize the long dormant Saw franchise. The first being 2017's Jigsaw. This time the franchise was given over to the legendary comedian Chris Rock. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> the comedian, famous for his comedy, was given the keys to the Saw kingdom. Either that shows great confidence in Chris Rock's vision, or the people in charge of the Saw IP really don't know what to do with the franchise anymore. I'd like to think that it's the former and not the latter, but hey, that's me being positive. Some will see it as an interesting and bold new direction, whereas some might downright hate the new tone and direction that this film sort of takes. And as a longtime Saw fan, I could see both sides of the argument. And because of that, I'd like to go into a more detailed discussion in a separate video. That video, I will be able to talk more in depth about how I feel about the movie on its own and how it stacks up to the rest of the franchise as a sequel and how it compares to Jigsaw, the 2017 continuation. Which film is better? Which film does Saw justice? So make sure you guys look out for that video. So Spiral stars Chris Rock as Zeke, a brash, loudmouth detective who finds himself in the middle of a twisted new game as he crosses paths with a jigsaw copycat. With the clock ticking and the bodies piling up, will Zeke be able to solve the mystery before it's too late? With a setup like that, it sounds like a typical Saw film, huh? Well... Let's start with the good. I love the setup of this movie, and I love the fact that the guys in charge gave Chris Rock the opportunity to shake up this long-established franchise. That doesn't happen too often. So right out the gate, they get points for that. I also appreciate the familiar elements that were added as to not be too different. So an example is like the opening trap. Saw movies traditionally open up with a trap. The traps themselves were all well done. Now, I wouldn't say that they were my favorite traps of the series. I do give them credit for their uniqueness and creativity. I was getting Saw 1 vibes from the traps. Maybe that's just me. I only say that because there's a lot of finding the victims all after the fact, and then you have to piece together what happened, which I feel like that happened a lot in Saw. I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering it. And all of the traps were fun to watch, so, I mean, good job. And the film had a, a uh, for the first two acts, had a nice sense of mystery going on. I think the final act has problems, but I'll get to that later. And lastly, like every Saw film, they had the revelation scene at the end. You know, when the music starts swelling up and it's... As you learn more of the secrets and twists and revelations and then the final moment happens and then cut to black. I love it. This movie has that too. So props for adding enough familiar elements as to not scare off the casual Saw fan. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I also thought that there were moments in this movie that were just hilarious. Like laugh out loud hilarious. And throughout the movie, there are just moments where I feel like he's just... I don't know, just trying out new material for a stage act or something, because this kid just throughout the movie is just telling joke after joke. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Because it's a Saw movie. The comedy is so prevalent throughout the film that it actually conflicts with the tone of the movie sometimes. Like, Zeke will be telling jokes while at the crime scene. <laughs> it's like, am I supposed to be laughing right now? Because there's definitely a dead body right there. But I'll touch on that more in a second. Also, while I would have rather have had the classic Jigsaw puppet and the classic Jigsaw voice, the new puppet and voice are fine it's inoffensive. Again, I like the old school, it's fine. And it makes sense story-wise, sort of, so, hey. So, now on to the bad. So, earlier, when I mentioned that the humor can sometimes clash with the tone of this movie, yeah, that's a huge problem. I thought the humor was great, 
And I understand that humor is subjective. So if the humor falls flat for you, then it is super going to feel out of place. But you've sort of failed as a proper Saw movie if the humor keeps breaking any tension that gets built up. Like I mentioned earlier, Chris Rock's character, Zeke, will do like this whole bit and it'll bleed into the next scene which like just cuts any tension that that next scene might have been trying to like create. It would be fine if from the beginning this movie played up a more lighthearted, more spoof take on the Saw films. Then yeah, the long comedy bits would make perfect sense. It just, it ruins the tone that this movie is trying to set. Another bad is the choice of music. Look, I'm an old school hip hop and rap sort of guy. So populating this movie soundtrack with 21 Savage and music of that quality would not be my first choice. I guess I should have known from the trailer because there's a 21 Savage song in the trailer, but hey. Oh, and they say fuck a lot. Look. <laughs> I'm not no stick in the mud ass nigga. I'm not saying you can't swear in a film. Not at all. But what I am saying is maybe we don't fucking use fucking the word fuck every other fucking motherfucking word. Okay, motherfucker? Another movie that had this problem was the recent Predator movie. Not the good Predator movie. The shit Predator movie. Oh, and the ending revelation is... I'll just say it leaves a lot to be desired. I cannot say anything further than that until my review discussion. So please check out my review discussion. I'm gonna plug that one more goddamn time. But with that, Spiral from the Book of Saw is an interesting film. It's definitely a different yet familiar kind of Saw film. It was a rough, interesting first step in a bold new direction, but it really needs to address some things before we can call it a return to form. Yeah, Saw is back, but it might not be the Saw that we were expecting. And that's why I'm giving Spiral, from the Book of Saw, a 3 out of 5. So those were my thoughts on the film. I love this franchise, and I wanted to succeed so badly. But this is a flawed Saw movie. I am so interested in seeing what everybody thinks about this movie. Please leave a comment down below. Did you like this movie? Do you think it is a worthy Saw film? Or do you think Jigsaw is better? D Jigsaw from 2017. Whatever your thoughts are, let's talk about it down below in the comment section. Be sure to check out my other reviews. There's a bunch of them on the channel. Um, if you haven't checked out my Jigsaw review, go ahead and watch that one as well. As always, be safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.